My thing it was on the, 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 the lookout because he's just a different cat. I mean, explosive, cocky, uh, a guy that, you know, is surprising. He's spontaneous, you know, um, and he can surprise you. And all it takes is one punch, and he's strong. He's super strong, the man. Ability there, you know, uh, I believe with, with Tank as well. If you can take his power and you can beat on to the body and pressure him and, you know, if you got a punch too to where he respects it, then, you know, he's beatable every fight. You know, before Javante Davis took on Isaac Cruz, nobody gave Roley a chance in hell to beat Javante Davis. I still don't. But there's some people out there, like Timothy Bradley says, that if you can pressure him and he can take his punch, it could be a hell of a night for Javante Davis. I think some people took away from the Isaac Cruz fight was that Javante Davis is beatable. But I didn't have to watch the Isaac Cruz fight to know that because Tank's been fed lower opposition most of his career. In order for a fighter to get better at his craft, he has to fight better competition which Mayweather has robbed Javante Davis of. Now what Roley has going for him is he's a big lightweight. Sometimes when I look at him in the ring, he looks like a welterweight. And he's supposed to have power. I'm not sold on that yet, but judging by his record, he's a power puncher. The thing about Roley Romero is that he can't box. He doesn't have a boxing IQ. I don't know how good his chin is, but we'll find out May 28th. And we also will find out how tough he is. Now, if he could take Javante punches like Tim Bradley says and be a bigger version of Isaac Cruz, then it'll be an interesting fight for a while. But at the end of the day, I think Javante Davis wins by TKO. But boxing is full of surprises. This is the biggest lightweight Javante Davis has faced. But whatever Canelo, whatever Canelo chooses, what Canelo wants to do, He's one of the. He, I mean, he's one. He's one of the. He's one of the faces. To be honest, I'm not really. But believe it or not, I think one of the biggest challenges for Canelo, one of the biggest challenges for Canelo, will be Benavides. You know, you hear Tim Bradley said Bevo will be Canelo's toughest challenge. If he beats Bevo, then no one beats him. And you hear Mayweather talk about David Benavides against Canelo. You know, first of all, Mayweather said Canelo's been ducking Benavides. Remember that statement? Out of all people, he's talking about Canelo ducking. And then he follows up by saying, I gave Canelo a chance when he was coming up. Now he owes David Benavides a chance when he's coming up. Mayweather gave Canelo that fight because it was all about the Benjamins. It wasn't at the kindness of his heart or he thought Canelo deserved a shot. He did it because of the money. He also mentions David Benavides throws combinations, unlike Canelo. And I like Benavides, but I have to disagree with Floyd. For, for me, the buy-in that David Benavides has a chance against Canelo Alvarez, I have to see him against good competition. And David Lemieux is not it. And also Mayweather mentions that he should give a shot to at least one of them. Jamal Charlo or David Benavides. At least one of them. You know what, Mayweather? That's a good idea. Won't Benavides fight Jamal Charlo and Canelo fights the winner? Oh, my bad. Canelo already said he would do that. Leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.